How would you feel about erecting a bitchin kitchen in Hell's Kitchen? Oh, this way I could get enraged at something <laughs> other than just vegetables. <laughs> yeah, I think it's you. <laughs> I'm Becky Reams, your collector chef for Collector's Cafe. I like having fun and making oh, things my yeah. own. It's the same with cooking, right? You grab a recipe and figure out how to make it your own. Hello everyone, I'm Becky Reams, your collector chef, bringing chefs and collectibles together here on Collector's Cafe. Our guest today is Nadia G, creator of the show Bitchin' Kitchen. Nadia, hello! This is like a well-lit spaceship. Your show, like Bitchin' Kitchen, is such a revelation. Was there like an aha moment? I just got tired of seeing all these pastel cooking shows. Everybody being so saccharine. Like, have some fun with oh, it, absolutely. right? I grew up in a loud family. The women were the cooks. We had no problem making jokes, yelling at each other and I kind of wanted to capture the comedy that can happen around cooking. Who are some of your comedic influences? Big fan of Chelsea Handler, mm. Fortune Feinster, Tina Fey, Amy Schumer. Another influence who doesn't have a vagina, Chris Farley. Oh. Love Chris she Farley. Was a classic. So what if I eat my dandruff? We have a pretty colorful cast of characters that yeah. show up on the show. How did you find them? Hans, we found them on Craigslist. We put out an ad looking for muscle dudes. Hans came in, Bart, and he was just perfect. The spice agent he was like a friend of a friend, and he came in and just blew us away. He's so hilarious. Now we're gonna do rapid fire questions. Whiskey or tequila? Tequila. Pink or red? Pink. McDonald's fries or steak fries? Oh, big fries. <laughs> Diet or workout? Workout, definitely. Henry Rollins or Ramones? Ramones. Martha Stewart or Rachel Ray? Or Tequila. Let's talk about collectibles. I just love collecting curiosities. So this is an old doll. And I've always been a fan of broken dolls. Yeah. You grow up, you get a bunch of dolls, and you're mm -hmm. taught about sugar and spice and everything nice. Sure. And this kind of takes that and turns it on its head a little bit. Absolutely. This one takes the prize for me. Yeah. One night, I was hanging out drinking with my friends, mm -hmm. and we had made the joke that this was the whistle of Ragnarok. <laughs> which is like an old Norse myth that, that some cataclysmic event will happen which will end the world. Everyone was too scared to like blow into the whistle oh of God. Ragnarok. <laughs> Are you? Uh, yeah, I am actually. So this is a stillborn baby bunny with uh, sparrow wings. So did you make this? Like, no, did you do it yourself? No, oh, okay. no, an artist made this and I'll give you the name, Lauren Kane. Really? Yeah. I'm a big fan of taxidermy, but oh, you kind of want to be ethical about the dead animals that you stuff. So this is Cecil, and this was done wow. by Forever Friends Taxidermy in Brooklyn, and I, it just really caught my eye. This is gorgeous, first of all. Can we talk yeah. about just how cool that is? Just that delicate little chain. Yes. And I, I think it's a pretty interesting way to deal with death and turn oh, it into okay. something beautiful. Yeah, and it also freaks people the <laughs> out. So now we're gonna play a game called Would You Rather. So would you rather cook with an Easy Bake Oven or an Immersion Hand Blender for a month? I'm gonna go with Easy Bake Oven. Nice. Would you rather cook in Paula Deen's kitchen or Honey Boo Boo Mom's kitchen? Honey Boo Boo. Honey Boo Boo. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly. Would you prefer your background music to be Bach or Beck? Mmm, Beck. Definitely. Would you cook for Keith Richards or Ringo Starr? Mmm, Keith Richards. Would you rather cook for Queen Elizabeth or Queen the band? I'll go with Queen Elizabeth. What would you cook for Queen Elizabeth? Something really sloppy and dirty. Some kind of juicy cheeseburger with like <gasps> fried onion rings in oh it. Oh my god, and no silverware. What's in your future? One of my favorite projects is a creep shaming. I invite very interesting millennials on the show okay. and we talk about the creepy messages and then they're gonna read one of them out loud. <gasps> and then dude wins an award, the douchebag award. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, Nadia, thank you so much for coming today. Are you sure you still don't want to blow the whistle? I don't want, you know, I want to be here tomorrow. It's for your safety, really. Right. I'm Becky Reams, your collector chef, and that wraps it up for this edition of Collector's Cafe.